ever since they announced an online version of Fallout, I was thinking, oh crap, online vets. I absolutely loved Fallout 4, the mechanics, the gameplay, graphics, and despite the sometimes countless bugs, it gave me hundreds of hours of entertainment. I wanted to make sure that I was heavily invested in the beta, because Fallout 76, being the next big massive entry in the series, yet completely online, is without any human NPC interaction. Which is a strange thing to complain about, as most of us experience that almost every single day. First off, let me just say that this game world is ludicrously massive. The perfect size for anti-social homeschoolers to entirely stay away from all player interaction. The game has had a strip torn out of it for not being the most graphically impressive game in this generation, in comparison to recent games like Red Dead Redemption 2, Spider-Man, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and let's be honest, we never expected it to be. But the game is still gorgeous in that classic old Bethesda way. This is a very stylized world. Each area you travel to isn't the same old boring wasteland. It's the first followed game with a ton of vibrant colors, ever-changing landscapes, region-defined atmospheres. I mean, regardless of whether or not it's got the best graphics, it's got a pretty dang good atmosphere, and it works well with it. The gameplay and performance so far is fairly solid and very similar to that of Fallout 4. Alright, so it's not the smoothest gameplay, and you definitely get trapped way too often while being attacked, usually snagged on something you cannot see at all. My absolute biggest gripe is the fact that my frames are fine during this, and then they will become utter garbage randomly for no good reason in certain areas. It doesn't make sense. Now moving on to the building part of the game, it still kind of sucks. It feels like you can't place anything where you want. Your building budget is so limited, it feels like you can barely make a Minecraft dirt house and there are invisible slopes and walls everywhere. But the weapons crafting is pretty good, so I mean, hey, who needs building anyways? Anywho, questing. The questing is neither better nor worse than I thought it would be. Now you've got your good quests, and then you've got the absolute garbage, take this out of the game, don't waste my time with this quests. And I do suppose that because this is tying into some form of MMO questing style, those are for some reason popular. But for the most part, I wanted to literally shove a lead pipe in my ear listening to an NPC read a book to me for lousy XP. Once upon a time, there was a boy named Jacques. He threw them out the window. E five fo fum Reached the bottom, he grabbed an axe and chopped down the beanstalk. Moving away from those types of quests, you've got your dailies, which is awesome. Usually bounty, exploration, or gathering item missions. Then you've got a public event system that can be brutal or impossible to do on your own, but fantastic in groups and good XP. Right now, from what I've gathered, there's just a lot of questing to do in general, but eventual repetition is up for debate. I just hope that this ludicrously massive world stays lively, because I'm not gonna lie, without any human NPC interaction, questing can definitely get monotonous. Now, speaking about interaction, I suppose the multiplayer aspect is probably something I should talk about. Now, there are things about the online part that I loved and then absolutely hated. First thing is this whole die on the spot system, where if you die in a group, You'll just kind of sit there awkwardly. There's no crawling over or downed pistol support. It can just make for an annoying time to try to heal a partner or help out when you're down with a pistol or something. It's just very blam, down, can't res, dead. Now actually playing with others in the game is great. It's awesome to build camps, kill swarms of enemies, do the content that's more difficult to solo. In my time playing with and around others, it never felt laggy or slingshotty like I thought it would. They're obviously focusing heavily on that aspect, so it's not a chore to play with others, like some games can be. So in that regard, a 10 out of 10. But now for something that's not 10 out of 10. My thoughts on PvP. This is an utter joke. Now it's a fun joke, don't get me wrong, but it's not something that I'll probably ever engage in until there's some form of balance, cause right now it's the test of who has the most melee damage and VAT focused perks to beat your foes into a pulpy mess. I really don't get the system at all and why this is how they decided to work it. It's so clunky and blocky, and the hitboxes are awful. If your enemies have vats and you don't, well, don't even engage then, because you're going to get your butt handed to you. It can seem fun at first, but it gets old very soon, almost to the point in which it's kind of just a bother, an annoyance. 
which sucks because I was really looking forward to the PvP side of this game, so I just hope it kind of smoothens out. Right now, the game shows a lot of potential, even just in the beta, and if they keep up with the bug fixing and patching, smoothing things out, consistent adding of content, I mean, this could be one heck of a game. But for now, we're just gonna have to wait and see. Now those are my thoughts as of today, and I'm definitely excited to see how much this game has to offer at launch, where I totally lose myself in it. But the most important thing to remember about everything here is this.